not afraid and not ending their strike. After a judge on Tuesday decided not to order the striking, University of Michigan grad student workers back in front of the students they teach, despite the university going to court to force them to do so. It confirms what we've been saying that what the university was trying to do was an overreach. But what the court decided on Tuesday also paves the way for another court hearing next week. In court, the judge denied the university's request for a temporary restraining order. Um, this means we're going to have an evidentiary hearing on Monday. The University of Michigan sees it as an opportunity. We'll be prepared for that hearing. Just as a reminder, this strike violates state law, violates the terms of the GEO contract, and we're eager to get it resolved. Since last November, the university and the union have been in talks over demands by these student workers for a living wage and other benefits. I definitely support them in what they're fighting for. They need more wages. The university continues to offer us a raise that's below the rate of inflation, below what the provost gets. I, and I have members who are struggling to make rent. Some of their um, demands or their expectations are outside the scope of this contract. We cannot bargain things that have an effect on the entire university community with one bargaining unit. If there's one thing both sides can agree on is that they want to get this contract issue resolved. We're hoping the university will come to its senses and give us a contract we can live with. We're ready to bargain every day to resolve this. In Ann Arbor, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.